This is Psalms 73 verse 3. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Verse 4. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride can pass of them as a, as, about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. First and foremost, given all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity, defending the gospel. Also, a shalom to all you speckled birds that's going to come looking like other nations. Shalom, shalom. All right. It's the brother Gabar Dama coming back at you with another, uh, a quick hitter, or however long it's going to take. However long Yahweh Bashim Yahweh had this lesson, lesson sanctioned for today. Okay? Let's read this again. Verse 6. Their pride can pass of them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. Okay? So check this out right here. This, this video is going to go into uh, what they call the critical race theory. When really it's a critical race fact. They don't want to talk because they don't want the truth to come out. And, you know, and Esau Edom's always been like this. Nothing more than a big fat crybaby, man. A petty crybaby. That's why in the scriptures it says that he sought it carefully with tears, man. You know? And Esau wept. He wept. Has there been one blessing for me? You know? And now, and, and the things they teach, I'll go into it, but the things they teach these children in these schools is complete and utter nonsense. All kinds of falsehoods, uh, fakery, Columbus, uh, uh, all the way down to uh, the diary of Anne Frank. But then they tell you that, uh, that the, the, uh, the slaves were indentured servants. It's madness. Watch this. I got this from the brother Shapada 12. Check this out. What's the difference? What is the difference between the United Daughters of the Confederacy who were founded on September 10th, 1894 and the Moms for Liberty, which was founded in January of 2021? Well, let me take a stab at that. The Daughters of Confederacy felt it was their duty to go into our schools and push their agenda to our children incessantly lying about the place of the white person in the Civil War and slavery. They tried their best to make it seem as though it was not a bad thing. They even went so far as to say that enslaved people were generally well-treated and faithful to their masters, like it was some kind of symbiotic relationship, and not a kill them, tear them apart, eat their bodies, wear their teeth, rape their children, none of that. They did everything they could to make it seem as though they did nothing wrong. They treated these slaves like wonderful people. And that the Civil War was not about slavery, it was about states' rights. And they taught that to our children in every school. Hell, even I was taught that. Hmm. But that was okay to lie to black children so that white children can be spared back then. What's the difference between that and Moms for Liberty? Again, a group of people, this time 56,000 members strong or so, who are working to lie to our children in schools and take books away from them so that they don't know about American history. True American history, not lies. The truth they want to hide because it may make Timmy and Becky feel ashamed of their white culture. What are you afraid of? The truth shall set you free, right? Is that what you learn? Is it your Bible all about that? Do unto others as you would want done unto you? So you want black people for centuries to be told lies about their history. All these things are negative about them. 
But once they find out those were lies and they want the truth to come out, oh, no, 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 keep lying to Timmy because, you know, it makes Timmy feel like he's superior. It makes us feel like we're better than you guys. So if you find out the truth, little Timmy might grow up, like, you know, not really believing in his superiority. He might have a complex problem where he may not like the fact that he's white. And I can't have that because that's all I really stand for. I'm not good at anything else. Hmm. Guess there's no difference. All right. So, yeah. You saw that, what the brother had to say, you know? And that's the thing, man. Our people have no idea what's going on, man. They, everybody's stuck in this world, you know? They don't understand that this is a part of the curses, all right? But I am going to sit, I'm, I am going to point out the hypocrisy of Esau, Edom. you know, it's, it's something that I'm going to do, all right? United Daughters of the Confederacy. <laughs> Oh boy, man, woman, and child, all of them. The scripture said the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. All right? Here you are. You know, here you are again, teaching all kinds of curriculum, teaching a curriculum that benefits nobody else but, uh, but, uh, but uh, Esau Edom, man. You know, and, and these other nations, to be honest. But then you say the slaves were indentured servants. Then you say, uh, 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 well, uh, there was there was all there was white slaves, too. You know, it's hardly even taught in the school in the school. Just to just, to, you know, you know why, man, because he's the son of perdition and he's being revealed. So let's go here. The United Daughters of the Confederacy. UDC, right, is an American neo-confederate. All right. Uh. <clears throat> uh, her, 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 her tree. I don't, I don't know what that word means. Anyway, I should have read that right. Anyway, Association for Female Descendants of the Confederate Civil War Soldiers. Okay, so they're, I mean, they're all about they're keeping their history. You know, fighting to uh, display uh, Confederate flags, if you will. You know, they want all the racist statues to stand. And, you know, and, and, and us Hebrew Israelites, man, we could care less about any of it, man, because it's all going to burn in, the, in anyway. See, we stay occupied in prophecies and keep our nose in the book, man, which is our manual. And we understand why these things are coming to pass. <clears throat> and we also understand, you know, how uh, two thirds and, you know, a simple Jake gets all riled up about this nonsense. But this is the again, this is to show the hypocrisy of these Edomites, man. And how they really think their houses are going to continue forever, man. Expose them. Anyway, Civil War soldiers engaging uh, in the uh, uh, commemoration of those ancestors. See that? they uh, All their ancestors are uh, everything. You, uh, they teach you about the, uh, the 13 colonies and this and that and blah, blah, blah. But they don't tell you that off the backs of the Hebrew Israelites, this place was built with blood. Scripture says, woe to the bloody city, right? All right. And again, what the brother said in the video there, this does strike a uh, uh, a resemblance that's, you know, uh, none. It's the same thing, man. You know. Anyway, let's see what what else to say. The ancestors, the uh, the funding of the monuments of the monuments to them that uh, promote. Uh, Salaki and the promotion of this uh, pseudo historical lost cause. See, ideology corresponding white supremacy. Simple and plain, man. And it's the same thing. That's so all they do is repackage things, man. And when really they didn't repackage anything, it's right in front of your face. But see, you got to study to show thyself approved. The spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahshua has showed us who the son of perdition is and the things that he does. A man, woman, and child. That's why I'm going into this. Now let's let's go here. I've had this pulled up for quite a while. About moms for look look at these. Look. See? What do you see there? Jakes. You know, oh, it's disgusting. Look at them. Liberty, once and for all, we're all equal. <laughs> oh boy, man. Eve really took that sauce. Oh, man, all the way from Genesis. Anyway, I, I'm not getting much out of that, so let's go. Yeah, Unmasking Moms for Liberty. Moms for Liberty is a nonprofit 
claiming to advocate for parental rights. Okay? For parental rights. But wait a minute. Hold on. Wait one second. Hold on. Now you got Transformers. You got Transformers reading books to little children in the schools, and everybody's okay with that. Sitting on his sitting on his lap like he's Santa Claus, probably with a, uh, like the brother said, probably with a heart on, man. And that sounds disgusting, and it is. All right, it's absolutely disgusting. But you know, you, you can have that. That's fine. But you can't uh, you can't teach them uh, about. You know, there, what was that? There's this one book. I know I'm rambling. One book is from uh, Martin Luther King. Martin Luther for the King, right? In which we all know. He, he was way off anyway, you know, but they want to ban stuff like that. Critical race theory It's critical race history. Teach it all if you're going to teach it. Huh? The 1948ers learn all about the hope uh, the Salakia, a, a cost. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, Moms for Liberty, all kinds of nonsense they teach them. Moms for Liberty a nonprofit claiming to advocate for parental rights. Wow. Appears to be using uh, parents as pawns to advance a far right agenda. The group, which is the same thing. See that? The group, which has quickly gained substantial media attention. How? Becoming a far uh, a right wing sweetheart and mainstream spectacle. Now, now we all know. That the right and the left wing is two is is the same damn bird, you know. It's the same bird. Well, you got sleepy, sleepy and creepy Joe. He put up all kinds of laws, keeping a uh, so called uh keeping Israelites down straight up. But then you have his son ordering ordering hookers and smoking crack every damn where, man. See, you don't you ain't seen him in prison. No, he gets to visit the White House and chill out. That's why we need a savior, man. These people are a bunch of hypocrites. Man, woman, and child. All right? Mainstream spectacle has attempted to paint itself as a grassroots entity driven entirely by passionate parents. Wow. But in reality, it benefits from right-wing funding and ties to traditional Republican uh, political figures. All right? <clears throat> And, uh, as issues related to parents, schools, and so-called critical race theory, why they keep calling it that, I have no idea, drove local orga uh, organize, organizing uh, and elections. It is essential that media report on Moms for Liberty, a similar group with the uh, uh, approximate context, would be what? Daughters of Thy Confederacy, man. It's all the same thing. Repackaged. You know, just like they went from slave patrol to the police. It's the same damn thing. You see, it's the same damn thing. Let's get into some scriptures here. Isaiah 28, verse 15, because ye have said. Yeah, that's a reason why. Let's look at that again. Let's look at that again. Look at that. Check this out. It's lucky. Yeah. yeah, let's go here. Let's get a screenshot. Let's blow it up. Look at that. All right. What do you have there, man? Eve. See? Just just lost, man. Lost in the sauce. What do you have here? Same thing. I've never done it. I've done a lesson like this. Where I zoomed in on things. But, you know, there you have it right there. Look, I tell you what. Matter of fact, that's done. Save out the photos. That's our thumbnail. Though hand joined in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. <laughs> They're not going to go unpunished. Isaiah 28, verse 15, because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death and with hell are we at agreement, 501c3. You see? And I believe that they got a 501c3 organization. Same thing. All right. Nonprofit. We just want to help the kids not learn a history. So they, uh, so they won't have to feel bad about themselves. You little weak, dude, boy. Because, whew, because you have said we have made a covenant with death. And with hell are we at agreement. With the overflowing scourge shall pass through. 
When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us, for we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Under what? Under falsehood have we hid ourselves. You see that? Falsehoods, man. Oh, they're trying to teach the all the this is what this is what they're trying to say, man. They're all up in arms about all this. Oh man, they are pissed off. You don't want to, you don't want them to learn what, what uh, true history? The fact that this place was built on the backs of so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans? You don't want them to learn about the Trail of Tears? You don't want them to learn about uh chattel slavery? They get taught that six million people died and now and uh and then they got set free and, and, and uh, they all went back to their country happily ever after. Yay. Okay? But they don't tell you uh, over a hundred million, uh uh a hundred million Israelites, a hundred million people died. They don't want you to know about picnics, you know? They uh as a matter of fact. What, uh, coming up in school, I never learned about Black Wall Street. I never learned about uh, uh, Rosewood, Wilmington, North Carolina. I never knew uh, uh, that they w would flood Israelite towns just to make a lake and have fun on it now. I didn't know that they, that would, they would castrate people. You don't know about uh, Jacob is the former of all things. We, uh, they taught us nothing about ourselves. Nothing. All right. And then have, and then have the nerve to make us recite something, uh, make a, 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 a pledge of allegiance to a damn flag. You Edomites are finished, man. Pledge allegiance to a flag. I tell you what, I tell you this right now. My children don't pledge allegiance to nothing but the how about Shimmy Shai and their mother and their father and honor their mother and their father. Okay, Proverbs 11, train, train up a child in the way he shall go, right? Damn this place, DTA. Proverbs 11, verse 21. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. What? The what? Hand join in hand. The wicked shall not be unpunished. Look, though hand, look, we're all... Oh. What's your, what is what is wrong with these? Oh boy, I gotta get away from that. That pisses me off every time I look at it. Exodus thirty-four verse seven: Keep mercies for thousands, forgiving iniquities and transgression and sin, and that and that will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children, upon the third. And to the fourth generation, they are not going to get away. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, man. See that? Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. But the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. How so? That's why the scripture talks about, what is it, in uh, Zechariah? It says, I see a flying roll. And it says, these chariots of plagues, plagues. To these people. Oh, it's got them nervous. You see? Shall be delivered. See? Let's go here. Ezekiel 9, verse 6. See? Man, woman, and child. Let's read this. Man, woman, and child. Doesn't it talk about, <laughs> hey, they dashed our heads against the stones. And that's not, that's not a laughing matter at all. That's not a laughing matter. You're not going to want to be one of my slaves or any of us. You heard, you know, they give it. She's going to drink that cup. OK. Spare not, man. Let's go back here. Ezekiel 9 verse 6. Slay old, say slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon who has the mark and begin at my sanctuary. See? And begin at what? My sanctuary. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. You know? 
Two thirds are like it unto the damn heathens, man. Then they began at my sanctuary, men which were before the house, man. See, men which were before before the house. All right. So the wicked should not be unpunished. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Why is this not working? Esau eat them. No telling. Anyway, Psalm 58, verse 3. The wicked, the what? The wicked are estranged. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. That reminds me of that little Edomite devil. Talk about Mr. Kipling's cookies. And a black man stole it. And she just laughed about it. It was a black man. You see, their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the death adder that stoppeth her ear, which will not hearken to the voice of the charmers. Charming never so wisely. You know, verse six, this is why this is why he said, hey, break their teeth. O power in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions. O Yahweh. See, let them melt away as waters which run continually. Let them melt away. When he bendeth his bow, uh-oh, the, uh, the chariot's going to be plagues. When he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be as cut in pieces, man. All right. Why? Because concerning oppression, they speak loftily, don't they? Hmm? What did I get here? Critical race theory. I'll look this up. All right. Uh, intellectual social movement. A, uh, and loosely organized framework of legal uh, analysis based on uh, premise that race is a natural biological uh, grounded feature of uh, physical distinction subgroups of humans being beings, so like you, but a social construct. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's see. Category to use. Let's see. Exploit people of color. Blah, 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 blah. And really, really, really what it is, it's just history, man. It's just history. There's a whole class called history in school. What are you teaching? I mean, how simple can you be, man? Let's continue on with the scriptures. This place would destroy you even with a sore destruction, man. And our people, hey, hook, line, and sinker, man. They just, hey, they just take it, roll with it. They lean with it, and they rock with it, right? <laughs> this place is evil, as the brother Harad from uh, 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 North Carolina says. Deuteronomy 33 and verse 29. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people, saved by the Lord Yahweh, the shield of thy help. And who is the sword of thy excellency? And thine enemies shall be found liars unto thee. See? And thou shalt tread upon their high places. All right? So again, their inward thought is that your ho their houses shall continue forever. But nope, nope, nope. Ain't going to work. It's not going to work. You're not going to be able to perform your enterprise. Why is this not working? Wow. Wow. I just, I totally, get, there we go. See that? That's Satan, man. That's crazy. All right. Sirach 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. Never trust thine enemy. For like iron rusted, so is his wickedness, man. The wicked are strength from the womb. Though he humble himself and go crouching. We want, we want, we're trying to do this for the children. We don't want them exposed to the truth. What did it say? They make lies their refuge. <laughs> Though they him humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou had wiped a looking glass. And thou shalt, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Because that's the way he was created. What is this? What is this right here? N C R M A L. Isn't coming. What? Isn't coming back. Jesus is. Jesus is not his name. You see that? And they put this all over these these websites, man. Trying to get scriptures. Look at that. That's crazy. Let's keep going. 
Proverbs 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he shall go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. All right. You know, these public schools are, are they are terrible, man. Absolutely terrible. You know, and, and, and if you go back, just look, what did you really learn from public school? What'd you learn? That, that everything good, white people did it. Edomites did it. Let me say it that way. So-called white people, right? Everything good. And then you had that the one or two hours that they said, oh, slavery uh, uh, was indentured servant. Sorry it happened. Let's move on. See? Because and what's the, what's their reasoning? Because they don't want the children to feel bad. You know, what about all the lies and, and, and the, the rape and robbing murder that you neglected to teach us that we had to we had to learn on our own? You know, and some parents don't even teach it. You know, it's like it's forbidden fruit. Oh, boy. Mm hmm. Tennessee, look. Tennessee bans, let's go here. Tennessee bans teaching critical race theory in schools. What, what is wrong with these Edomites, man? It's just history. It's the truth. Tennessee is the latest state to ban teachers from talking about concern aspect, uh, certain, Salakia, certain aspects of race. Only certain ones. Only certain ones. And racism in public schools. And the racism in these public schools is rampant, man. It's rampant. You little, little Edomite called my son a cotton picker. Hmm? N-word flying around everywhere. A child, uh, 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 a child uh, in, a, in the lunchroom just blurted out white power one day. What did, what did they do? Give him a slap on the wrist? It doesn't matter. You know? <laughs> little Sarah said, I, I, I don't claim them anyway. You know? And Lord willing, he is part of that number. All praise to Yahweh by Shimmy Shai. Let's go. Nashville, Tennessee. Tennessee is the latest state to ban teachers from teaching certain concepts of race and racism. Certain concepts. Hmm. In public schools where the teachers risk losing valuable state funding if they violate the new measure. Hmm. You know, I, I didn't get taught about redlining. Hmm. About about uh, how they uh, how they did Jake in the projects. You know, look at Gad now, man. Look at look. Look at us. Uh, uh, they speak loftily according to, uh, concerning oppression, right? Republican GOP, Bill Lee, Bill Lee. He sounds like a Confederate uh, uh, damn general. See that Republican. Bill Lee signed a measure into law. See, Th these people, they make their own laws. Yeah, how about Shimei Al-Shah's laws? Oh, they've been done away with. But they make their own laws. Put their hand and put their hand on a Bible when they swear in. How hypocritical is this nation? Measure into law Monday after uh, attracted some of the most... Uh, Impassionated debates inside the GOP. Uh, I don't want to read this nonsense. And the exceptionalism of the national blah, 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 blah. Anyway, th this the main story is they don't want this shit to be taught. Okay? They don't want the truth to be taught. Not shit. Salakia. I got to work on my language. Although I may be rude in speech, but not in knowledge. Second Thessalonians 2 verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. For the day shall not, uh, for that day shall not come except there be a falling away first. And the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. You're revealed, Esau Edom. There's nothing you can do to get around it. You can't, you could, uh, cognitive dissonance. This is basically what this is. Mothers for liberty. Mothers for confederacy. You know? It's uh, uh, what it is. It, that, just, re, just, just name it what it is. White supremacy. Let's just go. Just, just, just put it out there. You know? Therefore, you shall know them by their fruits, right? 
Let's go here. Let's go. Proverbs 18 and verse 15. The heart of the prudent goeth, uh, uh, getteth knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge. See that? Seeking knowledge. Now they talk about banning books. Why don't you just burn them? All right. I'm getting ready to close out. I was going to read more into that, but I'm not. This is Sir, uh, Sirach, Sirach, Salakia. 10 and verse 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches gotten by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. The saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. Okay? So you could continue on. You know, at, at least first and foremost to the two thirds, you could continue on and keep trying to fight for a place for for uh, for the crumbs off the master's table. Or or you can do what the scriptures say and wait ye upon me because it's his determination to gather the nations together. And he's going to burn. He's going to burn it up, baby. It's going to burn, little brother. Let it burn. Let it burn. Let it burn. All right. That's why I want to say, hey, DTA and Kwam Yasharala, wa a Baba Ball. Boom! Shalom.